It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Deeds Brewing Company and this is a can of their Fiscal Damage. It's a hazy triple IPA coming in at 9.5% ABV in a 440ml can. But unlike last night's triple IPA we put out there on YouTube, um, this one is actually from Australia, uh, not America, which I got slightly confused about. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. So, as you all know, uh, with my beer reviews, I grab hold of a can, I open it, I get it into a glass, we review it, and then we generally work out what well, we read the side of the cans later on. We just kind of just do a blind taste test, because if I start looking at Untapped and Rate Beer and all these other sites, then I think it's going to influence my review. So, last night I did a beer from Revision Brewing Company, um, Travis bought it in Australia, sent it to me and I just presumed that it was a Australian beer but it was in fact an American beer this wow this smells incredible the aroma is just I, mean, I haven't put it to my nose yet you know we got to look at the beer first uh, we got a three finger white head super super hazy I'm hesitant I'm hesitant because it's so hazy I'm trying to work out if it's light straw colored or amber it's so hazy I'm gonna say it's in between the two if this was a clear beard it would be straw amber colored but it's so hazy look at it but the aroma it's still hitting me from even from this distance let's let's get in uh 9.5 abv here we go whoa it smells like juice <clears throat> oh by the way thank you travis um i almost forgot thank you very much travis for sending me this beer from australia aroma Tangerine, grapefruit, a little bit of spiciness, pepperiness. Mango, passion fruit. Deeds Brewing Company, absolutely smashing it at the moment over there in Australia. Absolutely smashing it. Right, that's all of the beer in the, in the glass. Let's, uh, let's dive in. Cheers. Mm. Wow. It's very fresh. It's a very, very, very fresh beer. Fresh to the point where I'm picking up licorice. I'm actually picking up the, it's so hoppy. This brewery have added so many hops to the beer that I'm actually picking up a slight licorice feel. So, it's not green. I'm not gonna go as far as saying it's green, but it, it's just so fresh and they've added so many hops. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of the flavour. It's not an overly carbonated beer, mind. It's got a medium mouthfeel. Uh, the mouthfeel is medium with a lot of hop stickiness. You've got a lot of the hops, all of that resinous from the hops. If you've ever rubbed hops together in your hand, you'll uh, certainly hop flowers. You'll get a stickiness on the hands. Well, if the brewer adds enough hops, to the beer, uh, that, that, that stickiness is only gonna go on your palate. So I'm feeling the stickiness of the hops 
kind of on the inside of the cheeks there, back of the cheeks, tongue, and my lips. It's almost like my lips are, I kind of, kind of wanted to stick together a little bit. Round that off with a lovely multi medium creamy kind of. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering whether the brewers added oats to this beer, and it's fabulous, it's absolutely wonderful. Yeah, really nice, really nice. Fiscal damage. Right, I'm going to take a guess at, at what this beer is all about. Um, so, um, situation, 2020, 2021, world pandemic. Um, fiscal means money. Um, the government's been pumping into furlough schemes around the world, certainly in their independent countries. But yeah, there's lots of kind of money bleeding into the economy at the moment, um, into, into, into furlough schemes and everything else. So the word, as far as I know it, Fiscal means money, damage means damage, so money, damage, let's see what it says. So that was my understanding, without reading the can, here we go. Uh, what happens when the brewers are left in charge? Ah, uh, maybe when management takes an early summer holiday. We the brewers decided to take it upon ourselves to burn our bonuses for the people. Ha 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 ha! Fiscal damage represents an absolute disregard for any responsibility in regard to budget. Love it, love it. Triple dry hopped, 500 grams per litre. 500 grams of hops per litre. That's an insane amount of hops. Make it rain. Wow. So, of course, similar thing. Um, I, went to a, I went to a brewery once. If you go to big enough breweries in the UK... They will have an, their own independent, or well, they used to do years ago, they'd have a tax man, literally. He'd have his office in the brewery. It was that big, the brewery. When I went on the, the, uh, the old Brains Brewery in Cardiff, before that it was the Hancock's Brewery, but it was that big of a brewery that there was a tax man. He had his own office on site all of the time. He knew how many bags of malt was coming in, he knew all the hops, he knew, and he knew how much that the brewery was, you know, earning or making in tax, so he could tax them properly. Um, otherwise, it's like an ice cream van, isn't it? You buy an ice cream machine, the concentrates for ice cream cost pennies, you charge in pounds, usually cash in hand, a lot of money, you know. So... Similar with malt, you buy the malt, you make the beer, things can quite easily disappear. So, and what I'm talking about here is, is um, the management have gone home, so they've gone, right, let's throw all of the hops, all of the malt, everything, throw everything at this beer. Um, I'm going to rate it. It's one of the most hoppiest, dankest, hazy triple IPAs that I've ever ever had on the channel it really is it's so hoppy it's so hoppy to the point where it's there's a taste of licorice in there but I'm gonna rate it I love it because I love hops it's a 9 out of 10 thank you Travis for sending it's a 9 out of 10 please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers